It's a little loud right now because of where I am, but I decided for today's video while I'm in New York, I wanted to talk to you a bit about filming in crowded locations. So I came out to a spot that's usually pretty crowded, the Brooklyn Bridge. And that's my first piece of advice for you in this video is to think about how time and weather conditions can help you. So right now, it's about 7 a.m. The sun is just starting to come up and it's also terrible rainy conditions. So there's just about no one out here. Last time I was here during the day, you could barely walk across without running into people and now there's absolutely no one out here. I've got it practically to myself. So if you're willing to shoot in those garbage conditions and at that more difficult time of day or on sunrise super early in the morning, you're gonna have that location much more to yourself. And even if there are a few people like there are today, you can use some other techniques to wait it out and use some composition techniques to get a very clean shot where it looks like you had that location all to yourself. But I need some coffee before we talk about that. So let's go to Brooklyn and find some. Here's a spot you've probably seen a million times. Dumbo Bridge. It's actually not that bad today since the weather's so gloomy, but pretty much any other time, this would be absolutely mobbed with people taking photos. Still kind of is, and understandably, it's a sick shot. But if you want that angle and you want it to look like there's no one else here, you have to get a little more creative. Slap on that 85, focus on detail shots, point the camera up so you can't see all the people down here. Just play around with the camera angle, get creative with it, and fool people into thinking that you're here by yourself, even though you're not. There's also something to be said for just being patient. I was able to snag a few like basic wide angle shots a few minutes ago just because I stood around for long enough and eventually everyone moved at the same time. So that was nice. But at most places that are super crowded, you generally don't have that option of everyone moving out of the way. So you have to get creative with that camera angle. Slap on that 85 millimeter lens or any longer lens for that matter. Focus less on the wide shot with no one in it and more on the detail shots that you can use to construct that environment for your viewer rather than it actually being there. If you're insistent on getting this wide angle shot, another great technique for you to try out is long exposure where you set up your camera on a tripod and expose for longer than you normally would. For example, you usually take a photo at maybe a hundredth of a second or more. But if you slow that shutter down using an ND filter and a very narrow aperture on your lens and say take that photo over 30 or even 60 seconds, all of the movement of those people in your way is going to blend together and you're going to see less of those people and then you can just photoshop out the few people that aren't moving and still show up. I wasn't going to do it back there on the Dumbo Street because I don't think anyone would appreciate me setting up my tripod in the middle of the road, but I'll find a spot up here that's crowded enough where I can still set it up and show you. So this is a pretty cool spot for a wide photo, but obviously there's a ton of people crossing right in front of where my camera will be. But if I just use, say, a 25 second exposure, they're all magically gone. It's great. Well, almost everyone's gone. If someone's not moving, like they're sitting down or they're just standing still, then they should still show up in the frame, but that's what Photoshop's for. a 
finished in development. While I was back there filming on the Brooklyn Bridge, I broke the zipper on my camera bag. Like the zipper just slid completely off the track. So the bag was just like wide open, my stuff was on the ground, that situation. Now Brevity, which is the company that makes these camera backpacks, is actually based right here in Dumbo, Brooklyn, where I was headed anyway. So I reached out to Dylan, he's the homie, he's the co-founder of the company, and we're meeting up in a bit and he's got a backpack to replace this one. So shout out to the absolute legends at Brevity for hooking that up so quickly. So yeah, kind of less than ideal timing for that to happen out in the rain, but uh, Glad I was here where they're based so I could pick up a new one. Dylan just pulled up. It's a oh. new bag. <laughs> Absolute legend. <laughs> Boom. Good as new. Actually, just new. It is new. Huge shout out to Brevity for getting this out here so quickly. Um, cannot recommend them more. This is the Scout 2. It's basically like the new, improved, revamped version of the bag I was already using. These guys make amazing camera bags. They're extremely versatile, and apparently if you break your bag, in Dumbo, Brooklyn, then they'll hand deliver it to you. So, there's that. Can't recommend it more. This spot's also a perfect example uh, the final piece of advice I had for you in this video, which is just to kind of get off the beaten path when you have the opportunity to do so. So while everyone's over there on the other side of the bridge taking photos of Dumbo and the Brooklyn Bridge, no one's over here. People just don't come to the opposite side of the bridge. It's easy to go to like the touristy spots when you travel somewhere or anywhere for that matter, but if I look back at my favorite experiences in photography and videography, the best spots have always been the ones that are kind of off the path. It might be a difficult hike to reach that spot. So most people aren't doing it. They're doing the easy hike. You want to get somewhere quickly and get that easy shot. But if you just get a little bit further away from where everyone else is, you might not get the iconic Instagram photo, but you might have a more unique shoot or just have a more enjoyable, fulfilling, shoot because there will be less people there and you'll have it to yourself and get something that other people just aren't doing. So always choose the road less traveled you could say whenever you have the opportunity to do so. 